Hello everyone! In this week's video, I'm going to be drawing one of my viewers' original characters. So let's get started! The OC that was randomly picked was created by Maddie. Their OC's name is Lightning. Their hobbies include playing the drums and drawing. They dislike bullies, mean people outside, spiders, and bees. So let's start drawing Lightning. So one thing I thought that was really interesting about Lightning is that she plays the drums. I thought this was really interesting and kind of cool. So I decided I wanted to draw her playing the drums. And here I'm just kind of getting my rough idea of what I want out of my head. This wasn't going to be my final sketch. I just kind of wanted to see if I could kind of draw someone playing the drums. And kind of get an idea for what I want and how I want the pose to be and all of that. So here I'm just kind of getting the rough idea out of my head. I've never drawn drums before and going into this I thought it wouldn't be too difficult because I'm like yeah drums they're just kind of you know cylinders and stuff and boy was I wrong. Drums are really hard to draw oh my word. Uh, but I'll talk about that in a little bit. So after getting my rough idea out of my head I had sketched this out and I posted it on my Patreon page and one of my patrons, Michael, he can play the drums and so he gave me some tips on like different drum setups and like how uh, drummers sit at the drums and like gave me more info on drums because I know nothing about them. And so I was really, really thankful for the help. But after he had given me all the information like on how they are set up and how drummers sit at the drums, I basically decided that I had to start all over because everything was wrong. <laughs> and so I had to scrap this and I just started all over. So I start by drawing out how I want the drum setup to be and just trying to get the different proportions of the different pieces correctly. One thing I didn't know is that there is a smaller drum often in between the drummer's legs and I had no clue that existed and uh, drummers are often kind of turned a little bit so that they can have one foot on the one pedal and another foot on the cymbal pedal. Uh, so yeah. Uh, I was just kind of drawing my drum set up here, trying to figure out where everything needed to be placed and how the character was going to be placed and just trying to figure all that out. And then I created a 3D, well I didn't create a 3D model, I posed one of the 3D models in Clip Studio in the pose I kind of wanted and now I'm drawing my drum setup around the 3D model uh, just so I can get the drums more properly proportioned to the character. And then after I did that, I used the 3D model as a reference. I drew some lines coming off the 3D model so I can kind of get the proportions where they need to be. And then I drew out the pose. I really like using the 3D models in Clip Studio as references because I can pose them however I want to, so they're really helpful. And then I placed my sketch with the drums and cropped the picture to where I wanted to place it. I'm planning to have it tilted, but as I am drawing it, I'm drawing it not tilted. That way things aren't as confusing. I always have a really hard time drawing things uh, tilted, and so I just draw it not tilted and then tilt it later. So now I'm starting to clean up my super rough sketch and trying to add more details to Lightning. Lightning's a really cute character. Uh, she has an interesting eye and I didn't totally know how to go about handling it. Uh, it's like black and it has like this black stuff coming off of it and it works really well for the tiny character and I kept trying to make it work for my character uh, but I just couldn't quite get it to work and so I have her close the one black eye and I also make the black stuff going on her face almost more like a running makeup kind of look. I hope that's okay. I really did try to do the whole black on the side of the face but I just couldn't get it to work or look quite right and so I decided to just add a little bit of black coming from the eye. I also decided to give her a little thing in her mouth because she is an animal character. I think she is a fox, but I can't totally tell. She might be a wolf with two tails. Uh, it didn't say in the email what animal she is, but she's a really, really cute character. And her sweater was a lot of fun to draw. Drawing her arm raised was kind of tricky. Her arm on uh, the one that's more up is a little long right now. My mom pointed that out later when I was working on it and I'm like, oh, you know you're right. So I, I fixed that way later, like almost at the end of the picture. <laughs> 
So now I'm starting to work on the drums. Before I started doing my line art on Lightning, I wanted to get the drums finished because uh, the drums were just so confusing. Uh, drums have so many different small details in them and I wanted to try to get as kind of accurate as I could. I was looking at so many different references and trying to find good pictures online, but then like some drums are different than others. So I'm like, well, what are the actual things you need? <laughs> so yeah, the drums overall were really confusing to me, uh, but I gave it my best shot. I really, really tried. Uh, so if they're not totally accurate uh, for all you drum experts out there, I apologize, but I really did try my best to make the drums look good. Um, so for all the silver like pull parts, I had a layer set to outline uh, the shapes I make. And I had multiple layers like that, so I didn't draw any line art for the drums uh, because that would have been really, really tedious. I would have had a really hard time with that. So mostly for the drums, I just used blocks of color or mostly circles of color. <laughs> I was using the circle tool a lot and then transforming it to the shape that I wanted. And I found this worked really well for making the drums. Once again, thank you so much to my patron, Michael, for all the info that you gave me. He sent me a whole bunch of reference pictures and even showed me how drummers hold the drumsticks. And, and the picture wouldn't have turned out like it did if it wasn't for his input on the picture. Uh, so thank you so much for your help. It truly helped a lot. <laughs> I think I'm going to skip ahead because I worked on the drums for a really long time and I don't really have anything else to say on the drums, uh, so let's skip ahead a little bit. So after working on the drums, I did the line art and base coloring. Nothing super exciting happened there. Uh, everything went smoothly and the line art went well. So now I'm starting to kind of rough in uh, the background. And my idea for the background is that there'd be these spotlights um, for the stage in the background. And I wanted them all to be different colors. So I have an orange one, a white one, and then a blue one. And they're all emitting this super bright light. And it's gonna kind of illuminate all around the picture and the character. And then it's gonna be really dark towards the bottom and everywhere else is kind of dark and uh, kind of cloudy. So I used a textured cross hatching brush and then I made a whole bunch of different splotches of color. And then I'd use, I never say it right, Gaussian blur. I think that might be how you say it. <laughs> and then I kind of blur the cross hatching to kind of get the cloudy foggy look. And then I applied a whole bunch of purple set to multiply to lightning and the drums to make the picture look overall more dark. And now I'm starting to kind of rough in where I want the lighting to be. So I start by adding the white lighting and then I add the orange lighting on the left side. Uh, right now I'm not going into too much detail. I'm just kind of trying to get the general idea of how I want the lighting placed. Uh, it was a little confusing uh, trying to figure out which lighting would be hitting where and I was really trying to keep that in mind while working on this. So I tried to keep a lot of the blue on the left side and the orange on the right side and the white doesn't make a super strong appearance since it's kind of behind her uh, but I felt like it was a good transition from the orange to the blue. So now that I've kind of roughed in where I want the lighting on lightning to be. I start going in on the drums and adding more uh, lighting to those. I wasn't feeling super inspired uh, to shade the drums and so I didn't want to just totally shade lightning and then not shade the drums. I tried to keep going back and forth between lightning and the drums. That way I'd stay a little bit more motivated. Uh, but the, the super shiny parts on the drums were a lot of fun to shade. I did have fun shading those parts uh, because I just really like shiny things. <laughs> uh, so to make things look shiny, you just want to add a bunch of contrast between dark and light. And so I apply a darker shading and then add a lot of bright highlights. And this kind of gives the appearance that the thing is shiny. Uh, one thing I had a, lot, a hard time shading was the symbols. I was having a really hard time with those. I wanted to express the shape of the symbols, but I wasn't totally sure how to go about doing it. Uh, so those were kind of tricky for me. The drums had a bunch of different tiny parts to shade, uh, so they did take quite a while for me to add the shading on them. I did enjoy this part, adding the shiny part, 
on the rim of the drum and giving it kind of an edge. I felt like this helped the drums look way more like drums and uh, I just feel like it turned out kind of cool looking. For the drums, I take kind of a hard brush and then I apply the different colors where I want them to be and then I blend them out using the blending tool to give them a kind of a harder edge. On the shiny parts that are more hard, I want everything to kind of have a harder edge. This also helps things look kind of shiny because uh, for things like clothing, it can help to do a softer edge uh, to make things look more soft and less metallic. So now I'm going in and adding more shading to Lightning and her skin. Overall, the shading on Lightning uh, went pretty smoothly. Like I mentioned, it was a little confusing at times and I did have to tweak things on her quite a few times to get it to look right. I tried to also keep using different colors uh, for shading the different parts of the picture. So for like shading the skin that's more on the blue side, I tried to use a little bit more bluey tones. And for shading the skin that's on the orange side, I tried to use more warm tones just to help the overall lighting situation a little more. So now I'm starting to shade the hair and I'm adding the orange band of highlight going across her hair. I wanted her hair to be super shiny and like it was really taking in all of the light. So I added the white highlight and then the blue highlight and all of these highlights were really, really fun to add. Uh, one of my favorite lighting situations is when two colors are on opposite sides and they're kind of contrasting colors. I always really like shading pictures like that. I also added um, some darker purple shading to her hair. Her hair is kind of a pink, uh, but I decided to shade with more of a purpley color because I thought it kind of uh, went with the lighting situation a little bit more. So now I'm starting to shade the clothing wrinkles and folds a bit more. I'm just kind of adding more highlights and blending them out and trying to feel out the form and trying to give it more, uh, more of a 3D form and trying to think of how the light is hitting it and interacting with it. One part that was really tricky was her shoulder area. I had to edit that area multiple times because I was having a really hard time with it. It's looking a little weird right now. I tried to fix it a bit later. Oh, now I'm adding the black eye makeup. So here I had it really, really dark. Uh, but when I'm zoomed out, it kind of just looks like it's part of her eyelashes. So I end up lowering the opacity a little bit later and making it a little bit lighter. Uh, so yeah. I hope it's okay I changed her design a little bit. Now I'm starting to shade her eyes. She has this really pretty light blue eye and I really really love her eye color and how it's kind of contrasting with the rest of her color scheme. So now I'm kind of just starting to add the finishing touches. So I made a whole bunch of lines uh, with the line tool and then I used Gaussian Blur, I still don't know if I'm saying it right, to kind of make uh, the lines softer. And then I set them to add glow and then it kind of looks like the lights are like super bright and shiny and making all these different rays of light. I really like this effect. I feel like it made the picture kind of more dramatic and cool. Uh, so I'm really happy I added those. And I'm also just adding a bit more shading uh, to the drum set to kind of help things stand out a bit more. I felt like I needed to add a little bit more contrast to everything uh, because my levels weren't quite enough to make everything kind of stand out. So I was trying to help things stand out a bit more. I also add a little bit of highlights to the symbols and this helped a ton. I should have done this sooner because this helped the symbols look way more like symbols. <laughs> I also added a little bit of bounce light coming up from the ground uh, just because I thought it looked kind of cool. So here's the finished picture of lightning. I did have a really hard time drawing the drum set, uh, but I hope you like it and that you like how it turned out. I did have a lot of fun drawing lightning. She is so cute and adorable. So thank you so much for submitting her. Before I end this video, I want to say thank you so much to my patrons, including Andrew, Pisatera, Master Zero, Sarai, Hakoko, Tamalam, Those are 89, Rachel, Ravi, now from Academy Games, Suzio, Robert, Anne, Eduardo, AJ, Nikki, Michael, Narichan, Dan, Panda Bear, Hollow Studio, Daniel, Aaron, and Patrick. Thank you so much for being a patron and for your support. Well, thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all next week in my next video. Bye!